Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to rig a Roblox torso. Now this video was meant to come out a long, 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 long time ago, but it didn't because of the fact that I procrastinate and I kept running into dependency cycles and it kept confusing me, but I finally know what I'm doing. So yeah, here comes the tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all of these um, useless things. I'm adding in my model and I'm just going to delete every single thing but the torso. And I'm going to put this in the middle. Now, uh, you want to go into edit mode on a tool, so press Alt J and then M by distance. And um, basically, you've optimized your rig, as C4D users would say. By the way, you need to press A before doing that so that you can select all the vertices. Um, now, press Control R and then press 6 on your keyboard. And then click, what, left click and then right click. Then press Control R and then 6 again and then left click and right click okay now i'm going to go into uh wireframe mode and i'm going to add an armature and i'm going to make it um uh viewport display in front and go into edit mode for the armature and move this bone down to here and then uh just move the um the head of this bone like to about here yeah and then extrude off it by pressing e and then um yeah so now I'm going to name these, so call this one, um, let's call this one actually Lower Torso, and call this one Upper Torso. And now, from this little upper torso bone right here, extrude down, and then um, from this bone, call it Hip. Now, right here in the little um, pose button thing, uh, go to a different layer. Right here, we're going to add a new bone. So, um, add this one right here, move it down. And um, I'm going to move this uh, tail right here. And extrude off it about like here. And I'm just going to move it up right here. And I'm going to stop here. And extrude again. And then make sure now it's displayed as B bone. Now select this bone and call it torso bendy. And call this one torso um, S handle. This one I'm going to call it torso T handle. And actually, I'm going to call it E handle since that's an end handle. There we go. Now right here you want to go to bone properties and go to bendy bones and turn up the segments to about 10 really. I'd say 10 is good enough. Now right here what you want to do is you want to go and select this little end handle right here. Press Alt P, clear parent. Now make the parent the upper torso bone. Now go back into pose mode and select this. Make sure the start handle is the torso S handle. And make sure the end handle is the torso E handle. And make sure these are both on absolute. Now go right here to the bone, uh, constraint tab and add a stretch to constraint and uh, make the target the armature and make it the E handle. Now what we're going to do is we're going to um, shift click the torso and then shift click the um, armature and then press control P and then empty groups with empty groups. Select the torso and then go to the vertex groups um, thingy bajig right here whatever it's called the panel yeah the, the vertex group panel remove every single vertex group but um the torso bendy and go to edit mode press a and make sure the weight is on one and press assign now you can um disable this b brain thing or well, not disable but display as octahedral and um go back to the first uh, bone layer and there you go now you've got like a torso that actually looks good and it's made with bendy bones now you will see that the torso actually gets bigger when you rotate too much so we will be fixing this so you know i'll just show you like if you rotate like this it just it does that it's very annoying and yeah and we'll also be fixing the lower torso since that shouldn't be happening go back to the bone layer with the bendy bone right here select the bendy bone and um add a limit scale constraint to it and make the minimum uh, zero for all of these and make the maximum one for all of these. And uh, make sure the owner is local space. Now go back to here and you will see it doesn't scale annoyingly anymore. Now we need to fix this. 
So this is where we actually start using the hip bone. So go back to this bone layer and select this handle right here. As you can see, it's not being used. So just select it and um, go into edit mode and go to bone properties and make its parent the hip. Now right here, as you can see, whenever we rotate this, it works. So now we've got a hip bone working and it looks kind of nice in my opinion. And now whenever we use alert also, it works. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope this helped you and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>